I want you to consider life, bro. It's more than playing basketball, putting the damn ball in the hoop. You more than that, bro. Right. You are more than that. You understand? What is what has basketball done for the black community? Teach. What has basketball off say right? What has basketball done for the black community? What has it done for the black community? It gets you out of the hood. But I thought you was blessed. It gets you out the hood though. Why y'all playing basketball? Y'all already out the hood, I thought. I thought y'all already out the hood. Why y'all playing basketball for? Tell me what else basketball does for you. It's what? Give me Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. All right? When you play basketball a lot, a lot, it becomes your idol. Right. You start to worship the ball. Read what you got. Envy thou not the oppressor. What's the Bible say? Envy thou not the oppressor. You know why we play basketball? You say to make money. And I agree with you. In most cases, it is to make money. But who's making more money? The basketball players or the, or the, or the white man sitting in the press box? Yeah, the white man sitting in the press box. Is it more black owners or is it more black ball players? Which one? Owners of the basketball team. Do the owners of the basketball team look like you? Do the owners of the basketball team look like you? Do the owners of the basketball team look like you? So if you play basketball on the highest level, you're telling me you still going to be a slave? You still going to be in captivity? You still going to be a slave working for your slave master? If you make it to the highest level of basketball? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Bruh, do rag. Do rag. If you make it to the highest level of basketball, you still gonna be a slave? Is that what you're telling me? You say no. How 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 so? Help explain to me how you're not gonna still be a slave playing basketball on the highest level. Help me understand. Read the scripture again. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Basketball has become the way of our oppressor. Right. And now he uses basketball to keep the Negro breaking God's commandments. All your basketball games is usually on what day? What day are your basketball games? Y'all don't know? Growing up, what day did you have basketball games? Friday at what time? 7 o'clock. What happened at seven? Is the sun out or is the sun down Friday at 7 o'clock? It's down. Right. It's down. That's evil according to the Bible. You ain't supposed to be playing basketball when the sun goes down Friday night. Right. Give me Exodus chapter 20. These are the commandments that we've fallen far away from. We've exchanged the glory of the Most High with the basketball. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. What does the Bible say? Remember the Sabbath day. When, are, when, when, are, when is the black man going to start teaching the youth to stop breaking God's Sabbath day to play basketball? Right. When is the black man going to start teaching our youth to stop breaking the Sabbath day to play basketball? Right. The ball has become your idol. You worship it now. Come on. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. What's the Bible say? Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. One of those six days is Friday, bro. You're not supposed to be playing basketball Friday night. Right. You're supposed to be resting Friday night. You're supposed to be resting on the Sabbath day. Resting on the Sabbath day, bro. That's what you're supposed to be doing, not playing basketball. You understand? Not working out. You ain't supposed to be doing that. Not running. Not exercising. You're supposed to be taking a break. You didn't work for six days. Take one day off. Right. That's what God say do. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant. Ain't nobody in your house supposed to be doing work on the Sabbath day. Why your parents never told you that? Your parents believe in God? 
orange hoodie. Your parents love God? Huh? You say yes. But God says if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. God says if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. You'll keep the Sabbath day. You don't love God if you don't keep the Sabbath holy. You're not worshiping God the right way if you're not keeping the Sabbath holy. Free. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Hey, when y'all gonna start teaching the young men to stop playing basketball on the Sabbath day? Right. I'm talking to the to the older men. Y'all on the block. When y'all gonna start teaching the younger men to stop breaking the Sabbath day to shoot a ball in a hoop? Teach. When y'all gonna start teaching them that? When y'all gonna start teaching them that? Basketball is not doing nothing for our community. No. It's doing everything for everybody else's community. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Nobody's supposed to be doing work on the Sabbath day. Right. The Sabbath day is a holy day. It's a holy day. If, if there's no difference between the Sabbath and every other day of the week, how has that day become holy to you and the Lord? Right. It's not holy. It's not holy. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 13. We got to conform our minds to doing God's will, God's way. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. Basketball has become the black man's pleasure. Right. Football has become the black man's pleasure. That's why we play sports on the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. All the other nations are benefiting from our destruction because we don't know God's laws. Read. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing my pleasure. From doing whose pleasure? From doing thy pleasure. My pleasure has to be God's pleasure. Your pleasure has to be God's pleasure. The black man's pleasure has to be God's pleasure. Right. Come on. And call the Sabbath a delight. We supposed to call the Sabbath a delight. You supposed to not be able to wait until the Sabbath comes. You looking forward to the Sabbath so much that you can't wait for it to come. Right. You're making preparations for the Sabbath day. You've been working hard all week. It's time for you to take a break. It's time for you to do something that you want to do. Right. How about teach your people? How about teach them how to repent? How about teach the sisters to stop dressing like men? Right. How about you teach the, the brothers they can do more than make money? They can do more than put a ball in the hoop, kick a ball between the field goal. You understand? We, we greater than that. We're, we're far greater than that as a people. Right. Come on. The holy of the Lord ain't the light. Excuse me. And call the Sabbath a delight. The holy of the Lord honorable. And shall honor him not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure. We can't do our own ways all the time. God give us a certain way for us to keep the Sabbath day. Right. You're not supposed to be cooking on the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to be buying or selling, getting gas, going to the grocery store. None of that should be happening on the Sabbath day. Give me a... Uh, no, I want uh, Judah chapter 5. Judah chapter 5 and verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. This is what the white man knows. This is what the Chinese man knows. This is what all the other nations on the earth know today. Come on. And they sin against their God. That's why they got you playing basketball on Saturday. Because that's sin according to the Bible. Right. Come on. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Consider that it'll be everybody's ruin. Their ruin. It'll be their ruin. It'll be the black man's ruin. The black man's ruin for committing sin against his God. Right. For the benefit of all the other nations around you. That's what it will be. Come on. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity. If there'll be no what? If there be no iniquity. If there'll be no sin. No sin, no sin. 
You understand? The other nations understand if they can keep the black man and the black woman in sin, they can continue to rule on this earth. Right. They can continue to reign in your place. They can continue all of that. You understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the